Hi, I thought I'd show you uh, a quick little um, trap for young players, really, with the uh, high resolution mode that uh, you get in a lot of uh, modern scopes like this. In this case, it's the uh, Agilent Infinivision uh, 3000X series. Now, the high resolution mode, if you actually go into Acquire down here, it's got normal mode, peak detect, average in, and high resolution. Now, the high resolution mode actually does um, some high order uh, averaging um, uh, of the bits and to actually give you a lower uh, noise floor and it can really work out quite well and I might show an example of that but I just thought that I'd show an example here of uh, how it can be a little trap unless you um, at if you've got uh, high frequency noise uh, superimposed on a low frequency signal that you're looking at. Now in this case, I've got uh, a couple of signals here which I'm capturing. They're very slow, 100 milliseconds per division in there, right? So a relatively slow change in signal, which we're going to single shot uh, capture. So let me single shot capture that, and bang, okay? And it looks, these both of these curves look quite smooth and nice, okay? But when you zoom in, Look at that, see? Uh, only when you zoom in can you see that um, that uh, noise on the signals like that. But when you zoom out like that, you don't actually see it. It looks smooth as a baby's butt. But if you turn off uh, high res mode and you go into normal mode, let's capture that same signal again, shall we? And bang, you can see the noise at the uh, at the uh, slowest time base like that and it's exactly the same when you zoom in so if you are using high resolution mode just be careful at uh, these expanded time bases that it's not averaging some high frequency noise like that now i'll show you an example of uh, where the high res mode uh, can be useful and clean up your signal just measuring uh, the dc output of a uh, five volt um sorry a one volt uh, power supply here so we've got a volt output there and uh, it's, the line is a bit thick and fuzzy regardless of what the time base, 10 nanoseconds per division, 10 microseconds per division. And that's because the, uh, you know, a wide bandwidth uh, scope like this one, this one's a 500 megahertz uh, bandwidth scope. So it's going to be relatively noisy like that. But if you go into the uh, Acquire menu and you choose the high resolution mode, bang, look, it's cleaned that up very significantly and if at the lower time bases if you go up to the higher time bases of course it's still thick like that but at the lower time bases it really averages out that high frequency noise as opposed to average mode which is a bit different it's uh it works differently and i won't explain that but high resolution mode can be quite uh neat and you can get a uh, much greater vertical resolution or improved vertical resolution on your scope effectively um compared to normal mode so there you go that's high resolution mode and it's available not only on this scope but uh, a lot of uh, modern scopes out there so have a play around with it but just be careful